I like the 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 mold being broken of music takes off pretty quickly. Yep. You know, that's the telltale sign to know uh, artists don't know what they're talking about when they're like, "Oh, it's been two months. This shit ain't taken off yet." Like, "Oh, you new here? <laughs> <laughs> you must have you must have just gotten the race, my guy." You exactly. know what I'm saying? But so yeah, so I don't know. Like, that, I just like hearing artists keep pushing that narrative. Like, "Hey, man, it took me a minute. Hey, this shit took a while." Yeah. Yeah, I was I was I was pushing this same song for fifteen months. You know what I'm saying? It started popping on month sixteen. Here we are now, on month thirty eight. You probably just heard this shit last week. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that narrative mm-hmm. needs to be out there more. Yeah. Um, because how many times have we seen clients or just artists in general sitting on gold, like Shh. just to us the next hit, and they only want to push it for like a month, two months. That's it. You know what I'm Something six, maybe even when it looks like it has at least another year on it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, this shit could, could keep going. Because we, we tell clients all the time, bro, like if you were to do everything in the marketing space for a single like you'd be pushing your song for at least like three six months you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying minimum three six months uh, well not everything it's like if you well, it, well that's if you did i think if you did like everything like once you know what i'm saying it's just like just ran through everything like a checklist probably like six months at least right but we know that most of it's gonna be shit you should keep going you know what i'm saying keep pushing and re reprocessing and reconfiguring and things like that so it's like bro like you to me a, a song that's working or at least show signs that it could do well. I really feel like the minimum is like nine to fifteen months. I agree. <laughs> I I agree. If yeah, if it has that true promise for real, for real, it yeah. doesn't mean you can't drop it anything else in that time. But yeah, you got to keep yeah. pushing, keep believing. What's that? Don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, keep pushing that thing. And check this out. You just talked about that timeline. Artists start feeling a certain way if they're not blowing up a lot of times after like six months, a year, right? If you ask any of these record labels or people who've broken many artists before, these are the people, by the way, who got all the tools in the tool shed, supposedly. These people mm-hmm. who could just plant somebody and apparently blow them up out of nowhere and smoke and mirrors, all that shit. These people will actually tell you two to three years mm-hmm. yep. like minimum that's what their expectations are so if these people who have all these resources d- done done it all done it before have those expectations it's no way you as a single individual should be looking at six months oh man like i gotta end my career like why ain't they feeling me you know of course you want to find progress throughout the way and start to build but i'm all for Manage the expectations and pushing this newer timeline because boy, it would make it would change the game just for artists to change that mentality alone. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Yeah, 100%, bro. They looked at building their artistry as like building a startup. You know, it's the same thing in business world. What's the stat? Mm -hmm. Most small businesses don't make it past year five. Yeah. Which to me says that if you're a small business at year six and up, you know what I'm saying, you're beating the the (laughs) statistics. Right? So it's like, I think if artists start to look at it more of like, from a numbers aspect, a percentage of how many people actually get to keep going through the marathon, mm. pretty much, right? Yeah. Because that, to me, is the biggest part of the music game. It's not about how many people in it are great. It's about how many in it are great and survive long enough for people to start realizing yep. that they're good. And it's, for some people, that that changes, right? There's some artists who get their flowers in two years and some it takes them 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just kind of naturally yeah. becomes a part of the game. The marketplace is slower to certain people but the reality of it is, is more than likely it's not going to be a quick thing. The the only artist I've ever truly heard of that blew up like in a really short time span was like Trinidad James. Like whenever he came out, 
saying he's yeah. been rapping for like five months or some shit before. Yeah. That's the shortest I've ever heard. You know what I'm saying? That's they, a, yeah, they definitely exist. I yeah, mean, the, even, the super even numbers. Baby was pretty fast because he came into that full system. Yeah, like a year and a half. You know, you know all two. that stuff. Yeah. Even, yeah. I remember once we had a conversation with one of our clients. I always remember like uh, it was an ad only campaign and his shit was starting to go crazy. And then he was like, man, like, you know, based on the way things are going now, like, how long would you say until I get to, like, you know, the X number consistently? I remember the exact number. And I remember I was like, oh, man, this shit keep going the way it's going. Probably like the next, like, year, year and a half. And he was like, damn, a year, year and a half? I'm like, bro, that's short, bro. Because this <laughs> client was a client that we had, this was, like, his very first song oh, ever. Oh, yeah, Ground Zero. You know what I'm saying? Zero. Ground I'm Zero, and, it, and, and it's working out. And I'm like, bro, if we got you from zero to, I think he wants to get to the point where he's doing, like, 100K to 300K monthly listeners or gang class. If we get you to that Within a year and a half time span with nothing but ads. Because remember that client wasn't doing nothing else crazy. Mm-hmm. So it would have been all ads, bro. All advertising. Monthly bro. So listeners. Monthly, bro. Like, yeah. we get you to that in a year, year and a half? That's crazy, bro. That's insane. Like, there there would be no one out there that wouldn't want to know how you did that as fast as you did it. Right? Because, like I said, there are anomalies. But everybody that knows anything about building and growing an artist would be like, damn, like a year? You know what I'm saying? A year yeah. from zero to 300,000? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. How the fuck you do that? So I think that a lot of times, even just artists being stuck behind the the, the perception that music is, is supposed to be a fast thing, like that is detrimental in itself. Because like you said, you start making these irrational decisions and you start, you know, making these, these tweaks and changes to things that maybe would have worked if you kept at it for six months. Because it wasn't working by the end of month one, you just kill it. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like sometimes like we talk about a lot of marketing stuff that takes even time sometimes before it even starts working. You know what I'm saying? Like it might take you doing this thing for three months for it to even start producing some results. But then once it hits month three and up, that shit's gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's like it's gonna generate some wild results for you. So that's that's just what I get out of that. It's like the the whole like needing to blow up or pop fast as an artist is probably the most detrimental mindset an artist can have because mm-hmm. it's, it's going to affect everything else you do and make you make bad decisions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, any kind of creative space like that, content online, so y'all watching in real time, we're probably, what, well, we're episode 12. We're 12 mm-hmm. episodes in. This podcast has been moving, right? At some point, what, four or five months down the road, it's going to turn the corner and really move. Now, it might look like the views have been nice or whatever for somebody looking outside, but the difference of what it's going to be from here to then and how fast things are moving is going to be crazy. The difference is we know that, yeah, right? Because yeah. we're used to that and we've done it with so many things and so many people. We're not like, yo, how come we not getting 100,000 views on this? How come only 1,000 people are viewing this episode and 2,000? This episode? Like We already have the expectations in line, which is... Is that I've, I've heard Gary Vee talk about this actually, because uh, he says it about himself. Something about like being like he's super patient, but at the same time, within uh, the short yeah. term, oh. he's not patient. Yeah. Or, or like, I don't know, it's like aggressive patience, something like that. Uh, hyper patience, right? it's something, what is, something. What did you say? It's hyper something, like hyper patience. What, yeah, whatever yeah. that is, right? It's like you're patient in the short term, but you do still have to mean. Like be hyperactive in the middle of midterm. Like you have to be aggressive. You still have to take those actions. But the problem is when people turn up and say, oh, I'm going to go 10x in this moment, they feel like that means I'm speeding up the timeline in that way, which g- doing more should speed up your timeline from a macro standpoint. In general, mm-hmm. yes, it should. Doing 10 more, you should blow up faster than doing one level unit of, of energy. However, still that 10x is actually still meaning you'll go from what 12 months to maybe six months Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean 10x and i'm gonna blow up in one month Mm -hmm. it can happen right so well i just i definitely wanted to put that out there because i know one of the hardest parts is to feel like you're going real 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 hard and then not seeing that result but because you start watching a lot closer you're like i know i'm doing my shit like like it's like lifting weights and all that stuff, running around the gym, and then you keep looking at the the uh, your how much you weigh yeah. every day. It's like nah, it just, it just don't work like that, man. Yeah. It really doesn't. But with that being said, 